A jury decides the fate of two men accused of murdering Shreveport police officer Shatari Payne. Good evening, I'm Jackie Jovic. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Dan Jovic. Travion Anderson found guilty of second degree murder and conspiracy to commit second degree murder. Glenn Frierson acquitted of the same charges. It's our top story tonight. I'm glad everybody did a good job and I think justice was served. Shatiri Payne's father pleased that his daughter's killer will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Prosecutors proved Anderson and Lawrence Pierre, who pleaded guilty to second-degree murder before the trial began, ambushed Officer Payne as she was leaving for work. My heart was beating fast. Yeah, and it was back and forth, but we got a good day. Good attorneys got the job done. The jury convinced by prosecutors that Anderson was upset Payne was going to leave him and take the couple's two-year-old child with her. So he and Pierre brutally gunned her down. This was a domestic violence case, and it, it, what it tells us is just how bad domestic violence is. If a uniformed police officer can be killed getting in her car in a domestic violence situation, just think what happens each and every day in our society. The jury deliberating for just two hours. D.A. Stewart thankful for the work of his prosecutors. That speaks to the hard work of the prosecutors in this case and the way they presented the case and their zeal and prosecution in this case. The jury coming to a different verdict with Frierson. His defense attorney convinced them that he was asked to drive his cousin Lawrence Pierre to Payne's home, not knowing what would happen next. He was asked by his cousin, Mr. Pierre, who has since pled guilty to this murder, to drop him off and pick him up. He had no knowledge of what was going to take place. I feel that the jury made the right decision, and I'm very grateful for that. Anderson will be sentenced to life in prison without parole on May 11th. And though Frierson is cleared in this case, he is currently serving a 12-year federal prison sentence for being a convicted felon in possession of a handgun and drug charges.